The performers asked me to come see them here. I helped them out with something up in Van Horn. All right, I'll let them know you're in. Curtain's just about to come up, so why don't you take a seat, then come back and see me after the show. <laughs> All right. Welcome to my show. I am Aldridge T. Abington, bringer of daily entertainment that will enchant you. I have traveled the world seeking delights and amusements, visiting every city, town, hamlet, and village of importance. I have seen dogs that can fly, <laughs> monkeys that can sew, <laughs> and a half-man that despite being an addle-headed fop, could juggle and please a harem at the same time. It's true! Now, let's get down to it! I met these odd fellows in a tavern in some godforsaken place, entertaining cretins. They are quite a capricious bunch, presenting Miss Marjorie and her medical miracles. Oh my god! 
participation. And even the art of <laughs> transfiguration. <laughs> All right. Oof. I have mastered hypnosis, telekinesis, telepathy, and escapology. And now, for my next feat, I will relieve Miss Marjorie of her for this Robio! Doing a nasty little pervert? What? what? Damn it! We were gonna give them a show! I'm not like that, you're not! I give up! Amateurs! Well, tiny people and tiny-headed giants, curious things. They are a delight and can make you money. So, before you snuff out that oddly-shaped baby, bring them to me! This remarkable woman first attained notoriety seducing alligators out of the swamp and into a pot of stew. Her snake dance will leave you questioning allegory. The mysterious... Maya! Ladies and gentlemen, it is quite easy to suck the venom out of a woman. I have done it several times. <laughs> I am honored to present to you the greatest escape artist ever to live. Wow. Compositions have been written about his incredible feats of wonderment. I cannot delay this congregation one more second of experiencing the phenomenal display of the one, 
and only Benjamin Lazarus. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am the remarkable Benjamin Lazarus, the most incredible entertainer the world has ever seen. I have delighted concert saloons, variety theaters, and dime museums. I have just returned from London, where audiences stood riveted for an entire hour as I attempted to escape a pair of handcuffs. Yes, I am the king of handcuffs. But tonight, as promised in the stories you've read in the newspaper, I will introduce my latest invention. This steamer, Trunk of Death! <laughs> now, you are aware I can escape from any contraption. In fact, I offer $10 to anyone who can fashion a device that can hold me. $10? That's a week's wages. A piano maker has tried and failed. Why, I even went to the sheriff and dared him to lock me in jail so I could escape. He wouldn't do it. I performed jail escapes completely without clothes and he still declined, knowing that no jail can hold me. Let me thoroughly explain my apparatus. It is a specially made steam, steamer truck manufactured in Pittsburgh. It contains three impenetrable locks, reinforced steel bands, and inside are razor-sharp daggers that forbid me to move even one inch. Finally, my assistant will place this device over my face that will not allow me to breathe. I can hold my breath longer than anyone in the world, but I cannot hold it forever. Now. I do not foresee any accident happening, but we know in life accidents do happen. Babies arrive, phones are broken from a horse kick, worse are started. This is my most dangerous escape yet, and should anything go wrong while I am attempting to escape and it is impossible for me to breathe, let me assure you my assistant is trained in case of an emergency and will rush in with an axe to save my life. I pray that does not have to happen. Now, I encourage you to hold your breath with me as I enter this steamer, Trunk of Death. But I ask you, is it a case or a casket? Thank you for your positive accolades. I, I put on an incredible show, don't I? <laughs> Incredulous, awe-inspiring. I encourage any man in this audience who has a high opinion of himself to square off with our next act. She 
is the strongest woman alive. Whoa. Presenting Miss Hortensia from the deepest of Bavaria. Watching a reversal of the sexes. <laughs> We've had a stupendous evening for sure. It is a pleasure to join you in such merriments. These are the bright spots in our lives, which often terminate without sense or meaning. We are deluded into assuming it was in any way interesting. Be well. Good night. Oh, we have a new show tomorrow. <laughs>
Quite something. Yeah, I gotta go deal with this. Oh, there's something here for you. Oh, good luck. These novelty acts. Don't get this with dancing girls. <laughs>